I'm back with another video, uh, another installment in my makeup breakup series. As you can see, I've got all of my lipsticks, uh, chubby stick pencil things, um, lip liners. This is going to be rough. You guys see I'm a bit of a hoarder when it comes to lip products. I really am not going to want to let a lot of these things go, but I'm going to really challenge myself here because I inevitably hope to get all of my lip products into one drawer. So that's all of the lipsticks you see here and all of the lip glosses that you're going to see next. So um, it's two drawers now. I'd really, really like to condense it down to one drawer. We'll see. Um, I don't have high hopes, but I'm hoping that I can really push myself here. Um, really hold on to things that I love, but get rid of lots of things that I'm never going to wear. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start here and work my way over and hopefully get rid of a ton of stuff. This is a, what is this? I don't even know what brand this is. Maybe Milani. Yeah, it looks like Milani. I got this at a Dollar Tree. This is a super, super bright, like cotton candy frosted pink that I never wear. So I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to attempt to not swatch everything. Um, I know I'm going to need to swatch some things just to get a feel for uh, whether or not I'm going to keep them, but I'm not gonna swatch everything because we would be here forever and this is already going to be a super, super long video. I'm going to try to get my lipsticks and my lip glosses into this one video. If it's super, super long, um, I'll separate it into two, obviously. I know you guys don't wanna be sitting here for you know 12 hours watching me go through my lip products. I've got a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the color Cherish. I really like the Kissable Balm Stains, but I don't really like this color on me, so I'm going to get rid of this. Ugh, this is going to be so hard. I've got these e.l.f. lip stains that I've had for a really long time. I did a whole blog post on these. Um, it's one of my most well-received blog posts, actually, where I did lip swatches of all of these. I've got this one here as well. These are really nice but they are very old and very dried out, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. Um, I got a lot of these e.l.f. jumbo lip gloss sticks. I'm gonna be keeping a lot of them, but any of these ones with lots of glitter in them are just not for me. I don't like glitter on my lips, especially when I can feel it, and a lot of times with these ones I can feel it, sort of gritty, so this one is in Summer Nights. It's a gorgeous color. I really like the color but it's got the glitter in it and I'm just not feeling that, so I'm gonna pass on that. This is an e.l.f. jumbo lip gloss stick in Flirty and Girly. This one, I love the color, but again, it's got that glitter in it and, you know, I got so many lip products, I'm not gonna miss it, so I'm gonna pass this along as well. This one in San, no, this one's in Movie Star. It's a red, it's really, really pretty and there's no glitter, so I'm gonna keep that. This is Tiki Torches, which has the glitter in it, so I'm passing on that. It's really hard for me to do this because I am the type of person, I don't want to split up a collection. Like, I have all of these jumbo lip gloss sticks, and it's killing me not to keep them all just to be able to say that I have them all, but that's a horror mentality, and I need to get out of that, so goodbye. This is the one in Pink Umbrellas. It's one of my all-time favorites. No glitter really pretty pink. I don't even know if that was in frame. Sorry, you guys. Um, I'm gonna hold on to this. I've got a LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil. This is retractable. It's a really gorgeous pink. Great in the summertime. I'm gonna hold on to this. Um, I've got two of these sort of things where they're supposed to adjust to your pH level or whatever. I've got one from Pixie, one from Tarte. They both turn this obnoxious bright pink on me and I don't like it, so I'm getting rid of both of those. Um, it's another one of those e.l.f. lip gloss sticks, Sangria Starters, another one of my favorites. Holding on to this. Um, I also really, I really like these chunky lip colors from L.A. Colors, whatever these are. Holding on to this. This one from e.l.f. is in Coco Loco. Eh, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. I love this, um, Pop Beauty Pouty Pop Crayon, so I'm holding on to this. This is a great kind of bright summer color. Uh, these two Kissable Balm stains are colors that I like a little bit better. I've got Darling and Honey, so I'm going to hold on to these two. 
Um, this Be A Bombshell lip crayon is a red that I reach for a lot around the holidays, so I'm holding on to that. The Mega Slicks lip balm stain from Wet n Wild is really gorgeous, holding on to that. Oh boy, I can see that this lip product thing is going to be rough. Uh, this is a plush pout lip crayon from Julep. It's this super dark, uh, like wine color, and I don't really like it, so I'm gonna pass on that. As well as this L'Oreal L'Oreal Glossy Balm. It's just not super pigmented. Um, it's very balmy, but I got a ton of lip balms in the next drawer, so I'm going to get rid of that. And then go ahead and just knock everything over in the process, Jess. Good job. This one from e.l.f., the Jumbo Lip Gloss Stick in the color, in the nude, is really, really pretty. I'm holding on to that one. And these are all of my matte lip colors from e.l.f. There's some more down in this section here. Um, I'm holding on to all of these. These are incredible. If you haven't tried these from e.l.f., I highly recommend them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these things back because this pile is going to get large. I think I cut that portion in. Almost in half, so I'm good with that. This is another one of those matte lip colors. I just actually added this to my collection. I got this for free from e.l.f. for completing a seven-day lipstick challenge on Instagram. This is in the color Hot Commodity. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys because it's kind of a newer release, and I'm not sure most of you have seen it. This is a gorgeous shade. Hopefully you can see it there, and I'm definitely holding on to that. Love it. Okay, moving on to lip liners. I'm going to keep most of my lip liners because I don't feel like I have a super huge ton of out. Um, so yeah, I've got the Jordana Easy Liners. I'm holding on to every one of these because I use every one of these on a very regular basis. They're my absolute favorite. I love them. Uh, there's probably some more down in here. Yeah, for sure. Um, they're just great. So I'm holding on to all of these. This 24-7 Glide-On Lip Pencil is in clear. I just got this in an Ipsy bag. Um, I wasn't thrilled about it because I already have one from e.l.f., which you see here, the e.l.f. Lip Lock Pencil. But the Lip Lock Pencil is actually quite a bit fatter than this Urban Decay Pencil. Um, so actually, I'm going to take back what I said. I really enjoyed this. I'm going to get rid of the e.l.f. one because I don't need two, and I like the finer point of this one a little bit better. This is a Coastal Scents lip pencil in a bright pink. I have never had the occasion to wear this, so I'm going to pass this along. I'm going to pass on the Starlux Bear pencil as well because this looks really kind of dead on me. I'm going to keep this waterproof lip liner pencil though from NYC because it's that great um, like brown tone neutral that I love in the fall. That's another one of those. Jordana ones, holding on to that. It's another one of the matte lip pencils from e.l.f. This is in Nearly Nude. One of my favorites, holding on to that, obviously. Um, this is in Natural. I would love to hold on to this because I love this shade. It's my favorite, but the packaging on this one is broken and I can't get any more product out. So uh, I'm probably going to end up buying a new one of these because I love it that much. But for now, getting rid of that. Uh, this big old bright cayenne colored lip pencil that I haven't worn in probably 10 years is going. I've got two of these Wet n Wild lip pencils. Obviously I don't need two, so I'll hold on to one and get rid of one. And I've got a Palladio Herbal Lip Liner in Red Rose, but I've got the Jordana Lip Liner in Sedona Red. I don't need two red lip liners, so I'm going to swatch these side by side and decide which one I like better. Actually, these are really different reds, so I am going to hold on to both of these. Ha! So much for uh, being diplomatic. Okay, now we're moving into lipsticks. Oh boy. So I've got a lot of these NYC lipsticks. I've had them for a really, really long time. I'm probably going to get rid of most of them. Um, maybe keep one or two if it's a really special color and it doesn't smell like it's gone off, but the NYC lipsticks in general are pretty decent, but for the sheer number of lipsticks I have, I obviously don't need to hold on to every lipstick just because it's decent. So this one in Ruby is going to go, this one in Petal is very frosty, so it's going to go, 
this one in sheer red is my all-time favorite red but this one has definitely gone off it smells weird it does not swatch well anymore so I'm going to get rid of that I honestly will probably repurchase this though at some point um, I don't know where the rest of the NYC ones are they're all kind of mixed in here so as I come across them I will go through them this wet and wild lipstick and pink ice is very frosty not into frosty so I'm getting rid of that this is a super super bright pink it's it's a girl from wet n wild and it's just not flattering on me so i'm going to get rid of that um this is the revlon lip butter in creme brulee this was one of my all-time favorites you can see it's got so little left in it um i'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of it no sense in holding on to that much lipstick um, this one in creamsicle this is one that's not super flattering, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that as well. I love the Revlon Lip Butter Formula, but some of the colors that I chose just do not work for me. Um, what else do we have here? These are some of my e.l.f. lipsticks, the Essential line that I love. This is classy. It's my all-time favorite. I bought a new one because my old one was all busted. It's in here somewhere. I'll be getting rid of that when I come across it. But um, I love classy. Holding on to that. This is in Charming. Oh, this is all sorts of busted. A lot of these from the e.l.f. Essential line, they're really beautiful, but the quality on them is not great. So this one's broken. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. This is Voodoo. This is in one of my all-time favorite reds, um, and it's still in good shape, so I'm going to hold on to that. This one is in Sociable. This is a bright beautiful shade but it's got glitter in it and we've already discussed how I hate glitter so I'm gonna get rid of that this is another one in sociable I have two of them for whatever reason and I'm getting rid of this one as well no thank you um what do I got here this is an urban decay revolution lipstick and venom I don't tend to wear a lot of vampy shades but I love this one so I'm going to hold on to it This is a CoverGirl lipstick in, is this CoverGirl? Yes, it's CoverGirl. It's in Enthrall, and I'm going to get rid of it. Um, I'm keeping these Wonder Paints from JCat. I love these. I think they are so beautiful. Definitely holding on to those. Also going to keep the Bare Minerals Get Ready lipstick because it's a really pretty color. This is actually the little key for my Fitbit. I don't know what it's doing in there. Um, I've got an Urban Decay Revolution lipstick sample in this super bright pink that just isn't flattering on me, so I'm going to get rid of that. All of these Urban Decay lipsticks, these are their old style lipsticks. I've had them for a while. I got them all on clearance for like two bucks. They're all super vampy shades that are great for Halloween, but not so much for um, everyday use. You can see this one here. No. The only one that I might consider keeping is this one in Pistol because I wore this a ton when I first got it. Nah, I'm going to get rid of that one too. Um, this Tarte lipstick I was so excited to get because it's a high-end lipstick. I got a great deal on it. I hate the color of this. This is in Pure. It's just really unflattering with my skin tone and I'm not crazy about the smell of these either so I'm gonna get rid of that oh I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot this is awesome um, this Revlon lipstick in the color what is this satin plum this is really really shimmery and kind of makes me look dead when I wear it so I'm going to get rid of that and this in dollhouse pink Everybody on YouTube raves about this. This is the most unattractive, unflattering, bright-ass color, and I don't like it, so I'm going to get rid of that as well. All right. Wow. I got rid of a ton from that section. Look, you guys. Those are the lip liners I kept. Those are the lipsticks I kept. Woohoo! Awesome. Okay, moving on. I love these Maybelline Color Whispers. 
This one in the color Berry Ready is my absolute favorite. This is so beautiful. There's no way I'm getting rid of that. Holding on to that. This is one of the e.l.f. lipsticks in Fearless. It's still in great shape. It's this bright, bold, retro red that's like classic pinup beautiful. Holding on to that. This is Fantasy. This is all busted. I don't know if you can see it in there, so obviously I'm getting rid of that. This one is the Revlon Lip Butter in Fig Jam. Um, I'm going to get rid of that. I don't really like it all that much on me. Boy, I feel like I've been sitting here for hours already. What is this? This is the e.l.f. Essential Lipstick in Sociable. Really beautiful shade. Still in good shape, so I'm going to hold on to that. This is Posh. It's absolutely gorgeous. Still in good shape, so I'm going to hold on to that one. This is one of the Wet n Wild matte lip colors. Um, I'm going to be getting rid of a lot of these because I hate the texture of a lot of these. Some of them are so dry that you can barely get them on your lips. Um, but this is not one of them. This is a really beautiful, it's very drying, but it's a beautiful shade. And um, I love this one. I wear it a lot, so I'm going to hold on to it. But you will see as I go through that I'll, I get rid of a lot of those. And it makes me sad because my children got me those for Christmas. And I want to hold on to them for sentimental reasons. But um, let's not be a hoarder. Uh, this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in Pops. I just recently got this from Ipsy and I love it so I'm holding on to that. I'm trying to go through this rather quickly. Sorry if I'm speed talking. This one in Smokin' Hot Pink from Wet n Wild. You can see just by looking at it how completely dry it is. I love this shade. I love it. <sighs> I'm going to hold on to this one. It's so drying but I do love that shade. Okay, this is a Maybelline Sensational Lipstick in Maple Kiss. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one. I just, I'm not a fan of that color. It's another one of those Color Whispers in Coral Ambition. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to hold on to that one too. Love it. Can't help myself. Color Whisper in Lust for Blush. Obviously keeping... This is one of those Wet n Wild lipsticks in Bear It All. This is a really flattering kind of brown toned shade, but it's super, super drying, so I'm getting rid of that one. This is one of those NYC lip colors in Retro Red. I'm going to get rid of that. I don't only need so many red lipsticks. This in Mauve Out of Here, or Mauve Out of Here, however you want to say it. Again, ultra drying, not a big fan but I love the color, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. Okay, this Revlon Lip Butter in the color Sweet Tart is a gorgeous summer shade. I'm not getting rid of that, I love it. This one in Just Peachy is a really pretty peachy color that I constantly try to make work and it just doesn't work for my skin tone. It's a shame because this is one of the more moisturizing ones. Oh, it's it it's not drying at all, you guys. Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna hold on to that one. I, I, if I put it on again and I still don't like the way I look in it, I will get rid of it. But I I can't. I just love that so much. Look at my hand. Oh my gosh. This one in cherry picking is another one that I absolutely love the shade. So I'm gonna hold on to that despite the fact that it's incredibly drying. So much for getting rid of a lot of these, huh? God. This is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. This um, this formula from the color Sensational. This is their matte line in Touch of Spice. One of my all-time favorites. Holding on to that. Uh, this is the Elf Mineral Lipstick in Royal Red. I've had this for a while. It kind of is starting to smell like melted crayons. I don't know if it always smelled like that. Um, but I'm going to get rid of it just to... I love the red, don't get me wrong, but uh, I don't want to put expired things on my lips and I've had that forever. This Wet n Wild and Think Pink is so pretty. I know, I said I was going to get rid of these and I'm holding on to every single one of them, but I can't. I love that color. Uh, what's this one? This is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Pink Freeze. I wear this quite a bit. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not doing very well, am I? Well, no, that's not true, you guys. I've gotten rid of quite a few here. 
These um, moisturizing lipsticks from e.l.f. I'm holding on to every single one of these because they're amazing. This one in Wink Pink is my favorite. I love that pink shade. Um, this one in Rosy Go Round. Gorgeous. Mm, I think I have more in here too, but we'll get there. This, as you can see, is busted to all hell. And it's a shame because this was one of my favorites of the e.l.f. lip sticks but ugh, what a mess this is gypsy and it's a hot mess so I'm getting rid of that this is the Revlon lip butter in the color tutti frutti this is the closest thing I have to an orange lipstick it's the only kind of orange lipstick I have with the exception of the next one that I'm going to show you I don't reach for it a ton but I feel like variety is the spice of life and I need colors like this in my collection so I'm going to hold on to this as well as this. This is from Mirabella. This is in Pixie. It's orange as can be in the tube, but don't be too scared, you guys, because it's really subtle on the lips. Very, very pretty. I'm holding on to that one as well. Okay, this is the Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. Uh, I'm going to pass on this one. I've barely used it. That's probably for a reason. This is another one of those matte lipsticks from Maybelline. This is Lust for Blush. Definitely keeping that. One of my all-time favorites. This is the Rimmel London Kate lipstick in 08. Gorgeous, kind of brown-toned shade that I love so much, so holding on to that. Uh, as well as my beloved Totally Toffee from Maybelline. You guys know how much I love this shade. Not going anywhere. This is... Another one of my all-time favorites, this is Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. Definitely keeping that bad boy. This is the Wet n Wild Matte Lipstick in Spotlight Red. It's gorgeous, but this one is like the most drying of them all. So I'm going to get rid of that. Yay, finally actually following up with what I said and getting rid of something. Um, this is NYC. This is pretty old and expired. Again, kind of smells like melted crayons, just like that e.l.f. one, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is Nude Embark from Maybelline. This is absolutely gorgeous. It makes me look like a corpse. I'm getting rid of it. It's beautiful. I keep trying to make it work. If I wear it with a pink lip gloss, I can make it work. But no more. No more hoarding. This Maybelline Color Whisper in Pin Up Peach. Obviously holding on to that. Love it. The Revlon Lip Butter and Strawberry Shortcake is this bright bubblegum pink. Um, I find the occasion to wear this like once or twice a year, but I'm going to hold on to it. Um, this NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade, what is this? She's a hunk. This is really, really pretty. I love the texture of this. This looks super dark and scary, but it's a little bit brighter on the lips. Can you even see that? Yeah. So I'm going to hold on to this one as well. I'm going to go ahead and move all of these back in here. I think I'm going to fall short of my goal to get rid of half here, but we'll see. Okay, those are going to fall over, whatever. All right, this last section here. Oops, there's a couple more. This is a Hikari lipstick in Cabernet. It's really, really pretty, but I don't find the occasion to wear it, so I'm going to pass that along. This Raspberry Pie is very, very bright and beautiful, but I already have shades like this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Natural Nymph from e.l.f. What was I thinking? I can't wear something like this. Look at it. It's like a friggin' concealer. You can't even see it with the rest of my swatches there, but um, I'm getting rid of that. Uh, this is the e.l.f. lipstick in Voodoo. Why do I have two of these? I'm not really sure. But this one looks almost brand new, so I'm going to pass this along. This one in Flirtatious is this gorgeous, bright, like, flamingo pink that I really can't pull off, but that I love and I wear it anyway, so I'm going to hold on to that. This Color Riche Balm in Lays in the Maze is so pretty. I love this. I wear this a lot in the summertime because it's effortless, so I'm going to hold on to that. Get in there. Ah. Um, this is Revlon's Wild Orchid. 
this is really pretty. I love that. Definitely holding on to that. Ah! Get back in there. Okay, almost done. This, oh, oh, this is that old and busted classy. This has been with me for a very long time. I love it, but it's a hot mess, and I have a new one. Um, I got the e.l.f. Mineral Lipstick in Nicely Nude. This is absolutely beautiful. Again, it smells off, so I'm going to have to get rid of that. Party Pink. Absolutely beautiful. Does not smell off, so I'm going to hold on to this one. Um, this NYX lipstick in the color Goddess is one of my all-time favorites, so I'm keeping that. Another one of the e.l.f. moisturizing lipsticks. Told you I was keeping all of those. Uh, this one as well. S super dark and vampy, but I love the formula, so this is one that I will wear. These from Maybelline. I have made myself hold on to because I really want to get out of my comfort zone and wear them more. They're so beautiful. This is hot plum. So gorgeous. <sighs> but I never wear it, you guys. So I'm going to get rid of that one. And this one in Vivid Rose is a little bit more wearable, in my opinion, for me. So I'm going to hold on to this one. Although the packaging on this one does not like to work. So maybe not. Yeah, I'm not keeping that. There you go. That made my decision easy. Um, lastly, I have Sugar Plum from Revlon that I absolutely love. So I'm going to hold on to it. Look at that, you guys. All right. I'm very satisfied with this. I think I did amazingly well. So this, you can see, is what I am keeping. I think I really did well. I think I managed to cut this in half. I'm going to go ahead and move this out of the way and show you what I'm holding on to, or what I'm getting rid of, rather. This whole mess of lipsticks, oops, this whole mess of lipsticks is out of here. It's going bye-bye. Woohoo! Look at that. I did amazingly well, I think. Um, I think that this has run a little bit long because we are at, let's see, 30 minutes. So I'm not going to include my lip glosses in this segment. I will do that in the next segment um, and hopefully fit everything into one drawer. We'll see. I have to be pretty cutthroat, but we'll see. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.